He, he wishes he could say that the markets are not correlated and, it, and, and that there's a lot more to it than the price of oil. But if you overlay those charts, you'll see that oil is key right now. But to the average uh, American out there, they see lower oil, lower prices at the pump. They say this is great, but it's kind of a misnomer that oil prices will lead to these billions of dollars immediately of stimulus in the consumer's pockets. We're seeing consumer confidence up, spending up a little bit. But at the end of the day, lower oil has been hurting us because plants, property, and equipment close. It's a spillover into other industries. Mm -hmm. uh, offices close down. You can't have new computers, right. uh, new, new machinery to dig those holes in the ground. The rigs close down. Jobs, most of the jobs created over the past two years were in part due from uh, the energy sector, uh, came from, from oil. So that's why it's translating into a negative for investors into this market. But for the consumer, it still remains a positive lower oil prices at this point. Boy, that's for sure. Surprising is that on December 16th, when we first raised interest rates a quarter point, the 10 year was at 2.3, and now it's, we're sitting at 2%. It's done nothing but go lower. Is that a reflection of the economy, or is it because globally investors are flocking to the U.S. as a safe haven? Two so, after J and J this morning, talking about how it's it's just on the hunt for deals. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, for sure. And you can redefine value when you look at the oil companies. All of the higher quality operators are going to gobble up some of the lower quality uh, asset, the lower quality producers that still have high quality assets on their books. So you will continue to see that consolidation.